Hello everyone, I am Jason, here along with... I'm Andrew, and we're here for CheapMasters.com, the first ever edition of First Play. How you guys doing? I'm doing great, man. We're here to look at the uh, Shadow Broker, Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC for Mass Effect 2. Excellent. So, this is very new. Uh, yeah, I think it's about a week old, uh, but we've just gotten our equipment in, and I think this DLC pack is pretty rad, so... Alright, so first of all, how much is this? Uh, this is 800 Microsoft points, which equates to, in human dollars, 10 bucks. <laughs> Excellent. So, the premise, basically, for anyone who's played Mass Effect 1, and by the way, this is going to contain spoilers for Mass Effect 2 within this quick look. Uh, not too much, but contextually, you ha kind of have to understand what's going on in the game Okay. to be able to understand this DLC pack. So people so, like me will be very confused. You'll be a little confused, right. uh, but Liara Tassoni, who is a character from Mass Effect 1, this blue alien chick, uh, basically is in a tight spot. Uh, someone she knows has been kidnapped by the Shadow Broker, and she's been trying to track him down for the two years uh, since the original game. And she, you would now have gotten intel from the people that you're working for at Shepard, uh, and, uh, and these people know where the Shadow Broker is, or at least they know how to, how to find him. Okay. So you are going to... You're going to uh, team with Liara, who is not a playable character in the second game, in order to find the Shadow Broker and give him what for. Very cool. So this is a big deal, obviously, since you've been waiting to uh, to see what happened since the first game. And, and I know you had mentioned to me you thought this was going to be like Mass Effect 3. I totally did. The Shadow Broker had been a guy that had been mentioned uh, since the first game. So to see that we're actually getting to face the Shadow Broker in Mass Effect 2 is pretty surprising. So as you can see here, uh, I'm going into Liara's appointment. I was supposed to meet her there before we go to find the Shadow Broker. And uh, something has happened. This area is sealed off. Please step back now. Sealed off? Why? Someone tried to kill your friend, Commander Shepard. That doesn't sound good. No, never good. So there, there's actually... I've played through this already, uh, and there is actually two areas, more or less, that you go through, two action areas that you go through uh, in the DLC, as well as a lot of talking and, you know, character interaction and stuff, so. It's definitely the most uh, thorough Mass Effect DLC pack that i played. I actually have not played the Overlord pack, uh, but it's definitely better than the Zaid Masani mercenary uh, pack, which came free if you pre-ordered the game, or uh, the Kasumi Goto uh, assassin pack. I'm not surprised. Alien is just Omega with expensive shoes. So they're getting ready to uh, to go into Wall here. Yes. So she's she's basically telling me that you know she hasn't been able to find any notes, but. Uh, the the shot that tried to kill Liara did not penetrate the glass, so she obviously got away. So now I have to investigate the apartment, and as you can see, that's a piece of Shepard's old armor. Right. Uh, and I have to find. Uh, hey, you got a you got a Shalady Shepard. I do. I have a Shalady Shepard. I think the voice actress is, is much better than the male Shepard. He's he's so bland. He uh, from what I've seen, he is a bit bland. Uh, I started Mass Effect 2 way back when, and then our Xbox 360 died. Yeah. And, I mean, uh, either way, it's so. still a lot of fun. Uh, and, you know, the male Shepard, he's very commanding. He's a much better renegade than a paragon, I think. Um, right. But either way, I, I like the female Shepard better. So the graphics in this game just still blow me away, man. Right. I mean... Obviously, you could be looking around a good bit, but I kind of know where I need to go. So right. For and the we, sake of the the first look or uh, first play, I definitely want to try to you know show a decent amount of what's going on. Right. Because there's enough content to where in 15 minutes, there's no way I'm going to be able to to show you very much. You know, it took me probably about three hours to get through. So. Oh wow! So this is just a small taste. Right. Uh, that that's a good amount for ten bucks. Right. Oh, of course, I do kind of explore every nook and cranny. That's just the kind of player I am. Right. But uh, you know, it's a pretty good deal, and just you know, the quality in this DLC pack is is really well done. I think you know, it's very thorough, and it does incorporate 
you know, this very uh, character-driven aspect as well as a lot of action. So, you know, it puts the two parts that make Mass Effect great together very right. well. Yeah, Mass Effect is definitely all about the uh, story elements, and, you know, it, just from what little I played it, I can tell it definitely improved the action as well. Uh, so gameplay is, is obviously the same as the, the regular game, correct? Right. There's there's no difference. There is a small vehicle sequence, which I don't think we're going to get to, um, but it is at the end of this building here. Hmm. But I don't think we're going to get through this building in ten minutes. Right. Uh, so basically, Liara went to this building to meet up with this guy, and uh, we're now going to try to head her off along with the Spectre. Oh, the Spectre, sorry, I met up with. And now it's blown up. Yeah. Uh, wow. So Shepard is unhappy because that's not looking good for Liara. Yeah, not at all. Got debris flying everywhere. People are messed up. They just took out three floors to make sure she's dead. I'll grab this guy car and seal off the building from the top. Good thing she was not in there. Who, <laughs> Liara? Yeah. No, she was in there. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm getting confused on the characters here. No, that that is a specter that you met in her apartment that was casing over the apartment. Liara is actually was inside the building, and you were going to try to find her because she ran when she was attacked. Okay, I got so you. now we're going to get into some action here. I've got uh, got my disruptor ammo on my gun. What about my sniper rifle? Okay, I've got it on that as well. So let's switch back to my SMG. I'm not going to worry about uh, about looking for treasure too much. Very frontier employee. Looks like he got caught in the explosion. He didn't make it. Yeah. Definitely not. But you know, considering there was a giant explosion, the building still looks all right. Yeah, <laughs> it does look pretty good, right? But it was the top or the uh, higher floors. I gotcha. We will see some uh, some destruction soon. Oh, that's not good. Meters are messed up. Yep. Okay, so we're not gonna hack the ATM. Yeah, I mean, this definitely seems like a game that. Uh, you know, I need to play. I've, I've heard so many good things. Yeah, it, it still stands as my favorite game this year thus far. That's that's saying a lot, because we've certainly reviewed a lot of games. Right. I mean, it's, it's great, you know, and, you know, I like shooters, but I'm more of an RPG guy. Oh, oh man. a grenade. I, uh, flashbang, I think. And, oh, there's another one. All right, oh, so... Sprinkler system. Oh, no. Oh, man. Another grenade. Oh, he's dead. Okay, so we're going to have Morden cast incinerate. Oh, he's done. Switch my sniper rifle. Oh, God. Oh, headshot. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Morton. Oh, definitely. All right. For two. That's right. Okay, so they're done. Oh. Oh, man. I didn't oh, wow. see you. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Uh, let's headshot. Oh, man. I think I missed. I got shaken by something. Okay, let's switch back to my SMG. This is the normal difficulty. It's not all that hard. Yeah, so it's... You said that it's it's more uh, shooter-based than RPG-based. No, right. right. I mean, you know, as you can see, I pull up the power wheel fairly often to, to use powers and stuff. Right. Um, you know, you can map them to the buttons, but I always go to the power wheel because... I mean, that's just how I play. I'm definitely more methodical and less of a Twitch-based gamer. Right. I, I'm, I, my reflexes aren't amazing. I'm just, yeah. gonna, I'm just gonna admit it. Yeah, mine aren't either, so... <laughs> Oh man, he threw a grenade. He missed pretty bad, but he threw a grenade. <laughs> okay, so incinerate this guy. Oh, let's switch back to my sniper rifle. There's a guy over there. Oh, impressive. Overloaded his shields. I'm out of. So, like Halo, they have shields. Yeah. Oh, no, he's dead. Incinerate this guy. Okay, and we are good. Vault over the wall. But 
as you can see, you know, anyone who's played Mass Effect knows, you know, this is fairly standard combat. Um, oh, but at the same time, Sucks for him. you know, the combat in Mass Effect 2 was quite good at the same time. Right. So. Yeah, much better than the first game, which oh, obviously, yeah. that's why I never finished the first one. You yeah. Know, like, man, the combat sucks. Yeah, the first game had a lot of problems in, in the combat. You know, it definitely didn't feel very shootery. It was absolutely RPG face uh, focused. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and this is definitely more of, particularly, you know, in the States and North America, you know, people love them some shooters. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Ooh. Knock down my barriers. Yeah, I, I can see, like, <coughs> the higher you're going up, the more, you know, destruction. There's yeah. sprinklers Things going are pretty messed over. up. Yeah. Okay. This looks interesting. So that is an upgrade for anyone who hasn't played. You can acquire upgrades uh, either by buying them or throughout, uh, I was about to call them dungeons, but, you know, throughout the levels as you progress. Right. All right. Oh. 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 So that was the guy that Liara was going to meet. Oh, I see. So he didn't make it. And that is the Spectre. Asari. Lots of dudes going down. Indeed. So she made it. Is this the cat? That's the Spectre. Ah. I'm so confused, man. Tell of a seer. I don't know these characters. Yeah. Hey, man. That's in, that's the good part, though. You know, since you haven't played this, you can ask the questions. That yeah. Have. Yeah. So there's Liara. Okay. Wait, Liara. She's a friend. Liara, this is the seer. She's a specter. This is the woman who tried to kill me. Dun dun dun. Oh. It all makes sense, guys. <laughs> so, this is definitely a lot quicker when you're running through it. Uh, <laughs> like, honestly, it probably took me three times longer to go through that uh, my first time. Right. So, you know, if you're running through it at this speed, it definitely is not going to be three hours. Probably more like an hour and a half. Uh, would be what I imagine. Uh, you know, the second half is definitely longer than the first. Uh, right. The second area, second dungeon, which we're not going to get to. Yeah. <laughs> this first play is almost over. Ooh. But wow, I mean, for, for DLC, man, like, it, it's definitely impressive. Right. You know, it, it certainly looks like a ton of work has gone into this. Yeah, I mean, the cinematic flair is among the best in the game. You know, of course, I guess that makes sense, because... This is all developed after the game's been released, so... Right. You know, they, they definitely know what they're doing. Yeah. So, basically, for anyone in who who is a big into Mass Effect 2, this is a must. Absolutely. Uh, I think that the other three DLC packs... Well, I shouldn't say three, because I've not played the Overlord pack. But I think, definitely, uh, compared to the other two, this is definitely the most uh, robust DLC pack. So, if you have interest in Mass Effect 2, you know, definitely... I would recommend checking it out if you got the money and the uh, and the desire to try it. Very cool. So this has been our first ever first play here on CheapMasters.com. Please check out the website, CheapMasters.com, and we'll see you next time, guys. All right, remember, this is the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC from Mass Effect 2.